G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Amy and we are going to minister to 10 people. If you would like to receive prophetic ministry, please write your name in the comments and I will schedule you and would love to minister the word of the Lord to you. All right, so we're going to start now and the first person I want to minister to is Jennifer. So Jennifer, the Lord showed me, and I was praying before the session already for you, the Lord showed me how He puts in your heart a message. And that message was specifically for your family, and I saw the prophetic anointing of God come upon your life, and how you share that prophetic word with them, and how the Lord helps the whole family to change course and go according to the plan that God has for them, and, and also steer um, away from the destruction that the enemy wants to bring against them. All right? Then the Lord showed me a fragrance on you and I felt that the fragrance of, of God, uh, the, the perfume of the Lord Jesus, His fragrance is on your life and uh, when people come into your presence they feel the love of God just radiating out of you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Annette. Annette, the Lord loves you very much. And I just see how the Lord is bringing comfort and healing to you. And I just feel um, there's so much. I just feel like God is just like restoring your bones. I just feel there's like a peace going into your bones, if that makes sense. And I just feel the Lord is just removing any rattling from your life and really placing you on a firm foundation. Then I saw a picture of all these um, papers and they were clear. And I saw how God gave you ink and I just see how you're like writing and how the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. And I really believe that God is placing like love letters, messages, um, prophetic words, so many beautiful words from heaven um, and that He speak, He wants to speak to his people he's really writing it through you so i really want to encourage you spend time with god because i really feel god is really speaking to you at this time god loves you so much annette god bless you okay annette uh i also felt that the lord is taking out the heart of stone putting in a heart of flesh and he's writing his words on your heart and this is really a time for you to have vision uh, for your life and also just get that affirmation from god that you yes. are a child of god all right god bless you annette okay so the next word is for GA. So GA, what the Lord is saying to me is how He raised you out of failure and He raised you into victory. And I just saw how um, you were down and how the Lord picked you up and how you actually humbled yourself before the Lord and you were uh, seeking the face of God and the Lord answered you uh, in a miraculous, powerful, breakthrough way and He picked you up. And I just felt that the Lord says, this is the time to to rise up in victory. God bless you, GA. Amen. God bless you, GA. God loves you so much. This next word is for Kingsley. Kingsley, God loves you so much. And I just saw a picture of uh, of of these bricks and it was first bricks and and some dirt and then i saw how it became into cement and how it started growing slowly and i just feel the lord says that with this process that you're in slow is fast and i just see how you are building this this it was like you're building like this castle this building this just like david was assigned with the calling to build the temple of god and then solomon carried on with that i just saw how you were starting to build you were already in the process of building this um, um, this I don't know if it's a ministry it's a it's a it's a build um, even a business but I just feel it's such a legacy and I just see how you're going to build that with your children and a lot of people that are coming in and there's a lot of things that are going to come in a lot quicker than you thought but I just feel the Lord says that you are going to raise up a, um, a generation as a leader with through excellence but also through the timing of God so if some things are taking a lot slower than you hoped it would just know that God is on your side and there is something that he's properly establishing that's going to be so lasting then lastly i just see how god is taking off the sunglasses from your eyes because there were a lot of things that you thought okay this is way too bright for me and i just see how you are going to see the face of god and experience his light and his and his love i just feel god is just taking away all barriers um i really believe that you're going to see the face of god and really establish he's really establishing your relationship with him god loves you god bless you Hello, Kingsley, uh, I really feel that God has already equipped you a lot. Mm -hmm. You've learned a lot. You have a lot of experience. And the Lord is going to add to that, but you're going to use that experience also in your life. Uh, God bless you, Kingsley. God's very proud of you. So the next word is for Jock Lerish. So Jock, what the Lord is showing to me is there is, uh, it could be business, but I see three people. 
And that three people were each one thinking a different strategy, a different goal, a different vision. And how the Lord bring the three people together so that they each have the same goal, the same vision, the same strategy. And so they go in the same direction and instead of working against each other, they start to working together. Okay, So that's the first thing that God is showing to me. The second thing is, I saw a new piece of land. And so in the old piece of land, there was a cycle of... Uh, you try, you go for it, and then there's like a breakdown in a cycle, and then you go again. And I saw now the Lord took you off of that old land, and He put you on new land. And I felt that old land, is, I, don't, I don't want to use as hard as a word of, it's cursed, but it's as if that land was the land of failure. And so now the new land, I see how the, there is new challenges, but this time the, the blessing of God is there, the growth of God is there, the expansion and the protection of God is there. God bless you, Jock. Amen, God bless you, Jock. God loves you. This next word is for Lewis. Lewis, the picture God showed me for you was two paths. Um, the one path was to a school and the other path was to life experiences and not going. So I, I, I saw a picture of you being like a piano player and how all these other pianos players went to this the school to learn how to play but then you took like this different path and you played um, for experience and I just saw how the Lord says it's through your experience through that way of time and it's like you grew so much in all these other areas as well not only your piano playing but you still um, had the wisdom to ask questions from other mentors and leaders that had the experience that already went to that school and I just saw a picture of how the Lord says that keep on uh, I just feel there's a lot more experiences in schools uh, our skills that God is going to give you that's really going to promote you. Um, I just feel uh, for 2025, 2026, um, there's going to be promotion and skill. I just I just feel God is really opening up a door for that in your life. So if you feel like you're taking a different path that other people are not taking, just know that God has such an amazing plan for you. Luis, God loves you so much and I, I, I really want to encourage you. Courage, victory, and also love that God is really filling you up with. God bless you. Hey, uh, Luis. Um, it feels to me like you sometimes a little bit too serious and that God wants you to laugh more, have more joy mm -hmm. because that's going to add to that authority that God is giving to you. Uh, just like Joshua had authority to go into the promised land, the Lord is also giving you authority. God bless you, Lewis. So, Angela Parker, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is how he, puts, he, he makes the mud and he puts the mud on your eyes and how you then go and wash the mud off. And how the Lord gives you a new vision. He heals your, your whole body, every part of you, your soul, your spirit, and your body. But he, he opens up your eyes and He gives you proper vision for where you're going, what He wants to do, the strategy, even where the resources is. And He's giving you the connections so that you can go forward with this vision that God is giving to you. And then the Lord showed me a helium balloon and how that helium balloon was blown up. And it's almost as if it didn't want to go up, it didn't want to go up uh, because there was something that was holding it back. And then eventually it had enough helium in that balloon that it could overcome all the obstacles and it went up in spite of everyone say this balloon will never go up. And I just felt that there was words spoken over your life. You might have even spoken it over your own life and said, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. But I just felt that the Lord says that He says that He's going to help you and you will overcome and you'll break through the barriers that is holding you back. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for peace. Now, peace, um, while praying for you, I just saw your first name and then I prayed and I saw this picture. And then when I saw your second name, I was like, oh, it's you. So, um, and, and this word makes so much sense. I saw the word before I realized um, which peace I'm praying for. So peace, um, when I started praying for you, um, I saw a picture of your eyes opening up and I I just feel the Lord is giving you so much vision. He is healing your eyesight. And I just feel how the Lord is bringing complete restoration for you. Then I saw a picture of how you were praying and your hands were open like this. And I saw that you were just absorbing God's love, His protection, but also wisdom. And I just feel there's a lot of, um, I, I feel like the enemy wants you to like bump your head so that you can, um, that's your, gonna be a way of growing and maturing. And But I just see how God is giving you a gift of grace. Um, and also, he's going to place leaders and mentors in your life that you're going to honor, you're going to love. They're going to be amazing father figures in your life. Um, and I just see how you, instead of um, 
going the enemy's way of you getting hurt and learning, I just see how you are going to really grow um, in, in this beautiful safe place. I just see how God is placing, it's like a force field around you and he's covering you the blood of Jesus and I just see the Lord says, peace, I'm going to protect you and I'm raising you up. I've called you to be a leader. I've called you to have wisdom like Solomon and I have such an amazing plan in your life. Don't let the enemy um, um, put doubts in your heart. Don't look at your current situations and feel like it's not possible. I just feel the Lord is really opening up your eyes and showing you how special you are, how possible the dream and God and calling God is placed in your life is peace. You are amazing. And I really feel God is going to do such amazing things in your life. God bless you. Hey, awesome. Thank you. Peace. Uh, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Gunther. All right. So Gunther, uh, in the Bible, uh, we read that parable about a parable about the, the 10 men that each received a minor. And then the Lord said, do business until I come back. And then of course when he came back, the one took his one and made it ten, the other one made it five. And then there was the wicked, lazy servant that didn't do anything with his minor. And the Bible doesn't even say what the other seven did. But what, what the Lord was saying to me when I was praying for you is that he says to you that he is giving you the anointing to do business. And uh, there is that scripture that the Lord reminds me of that says, If you cannot be faithful in unrighteous mammon, how can the Lord entrust you with the greater things of the kingdom? And I felt that the Lord says, I want to entrust you with higher things of the kingdom, um, more revelation and better strategies how to minister for me. But I also want you to be established in this anointing that I've given to you to do business and to be successful in it. And I felt that the Lord says that right now he's putting uh, an anointing for you on business. He's opening up doors for you. He's even going to release uh, financing uh, for you so that you can do uh, the vision that God has given to you. And I just see strategies, blueprints being released in this season uh, in the area of business. Now, the, don't be discouraged and say, but um, now I'm not going to be able to do uh, a ministry for God. I feel the Lord is calling you to ministry, but I felt that you're going to overcome this hurdle of the business and then after that then there will be more ministry time. God bless you, Gunther. Amen. God bless you, Gunther. This next word is for Sharice. Hi, Sharice. All right, so the picture God showed me for you, God has called you to be a healer. I just see how you pray for people, and it's like your hands are like, um, like hold this gold dust, and I see how you pray for people, just like Paul prayed for people, and they got healed. So I just feel that is a gift that God has given you. And then, Sharice, uh, I saw the, um, the the verse, you know, Psalms 23, um, Lord, your rod and staff, they comfort me. I just see how God is giving you a, a rod and a staff off and he says I'm calling you to walk in my authority and righteousness and it's going to comfort you and always be with you so I just see how God is really equipping you and then the next picture God showed me was you were hanging washing right but you wash these the most beautifulest gowns one of them I think one of them it looked like your wedding dress but I just saw how you were like hanging up these gowns that you washed some of them are dresses for you that God has given you um, some that you've worn some that you haven't worn before that God has called you to wear but also some of them are also dresses um, I don't know if it's gonna be your daughters or it's going to be like other girls that you're going to be a leader for and raise up but I just feel the Lord says I'm calling you to be a leader and you're going to raise up women of purity of righteousness and I just see and also there's I just felt there's also events that God is um, preparing you for and so excited for you to attend. Um, so yeah, I'm um, Sharice, I just really feel there's just a beautiful covering over your life to be, um, just to carry God's glory and to also encourage a lot of young ladies to carry the glory of God as well. God loves you so much. You are so precious to him. And I, I really feel that there's just a message of God's love that you're going to speak into other people's lives. God bless you. Okay, Sharice, I did, I did see how you went through massive growth. Uh, spiritually and even emotionally in your life and how the Lord is very proud of you. All right, God bless you Cherise um, and uh, each one that came today. Uh, family, I love and appreciate each one of you. It's an honor for us to minister to, to you. So if you would like to receive ministry, you write your name in the comments and also uh, just look on that first comment uh, that I posted there. I got a link there to the Unity with Heaven teaching channel and then of course you now on the prophetic channel. Um, have a beautiful and a lovely day. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate 
each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.